Hey there guys, so today I put together a video on six things to do after buying a used car because I think it would be a little bit helpful to everybody out there. So uh, enjoy. First thing I do is always check all the fluids on the car. So that includes checking the coolant, windshield washer fluid, the brake fluid, and then also if it's a manual car, just making sure that the clutch master is all topped off where it should be. Then I move on to checking the engine oil. Usually it's a go-to to always go and change the engine oil. I always change the engine oil when I get a car just because I don't know what the previous owner put in there if he did put the correct oil in the car or a lot of times they'll say they change the oil every this many miles when really they didn't. So I always change the oil as well as the oil filter, make sure I have the correct engine oil for it. And then I also make sure to note what mileage the car was at when I did change the oil just so I have it as an actual reference from now on. That way I don't have to rely on the credibility of the previous owner. And of course, changing the engine oil is pretty simple. There's usually gonna be a tutorial out there for each and every make and model of car out there. So it's pretty simple to do. And as far as how much it costs, it doesn't really cost that much. Might as well get that out of the way. And that way you guarantee yourself that you know exactly what oil is in your car. One less thing to worry about. Second thing I do is check the tire pressure. There's usually gonna be a sticker on the inside part of the driver's door or sometimes on the driver's door jam. You can always check your owner's manual as well and they usually tell you the tire pressure. Then I go and check the tire pressures on all four tires, fill it up and adjust it accordingly. Sometimes they're underinflated, sometimes they're overinflated. So I just get it to a nice safe level, obviously for daily driving. And if the tire is underinflated or overinflated, it could unevenly wear the tire out. So you're gonna be losing money on your tire costs. On top of that, if the tire is underinflated, then you'll tend to get worse MPG, which of course is gonna be costing you money. So, so checking your tire pressure is very easy to do, it takes very little time, then it's gonna end up saving you in the long run as well as making sure that your car is safe to drive. Moving on, check the air filters. So there's gonna be two air filters to check on the car. There's gonna be the intake air filter. And so I'm just gonna be taking it out right here on video and you can see I'm just gonna check to see if it's dirty. This one is, so I'm gonna have a replacement. You can see how much cleaner the replacement is compared to the original one that was in the car. On top of that, I found some debris inside the intake box, so I just vacuumed that out real quick. Then I put the new air filter in, bolt it back up, and now I know my engine has a good clean filter on it that's not clogged up or has holes cut in it where you know debris can just get sucked in. So one less thing to worry about. And on the subject of air filters, I'm also gonna be checking the cabin air filter. What the cabin air filter does is it filters all the air that comes in through your AC and your heater vents. This is one of the most overlooked filters on the car itself and a lot of people don't even change this for the lifetime of the vehicle. And so you notice every time you turn on the AC or heater, it just smells weird and funky and a lot of time that's just caused by the cabin air filter being bad. So I changed mine out over here and you can see the old one is pretty nasty on the inside. The new one is nice and clean. I also went and vacuumed up the inside of where the cabin air filter sits because there was a little bit of debris there as well. And of course, put the clean cabin air filter in, bolted everything back up, and one less thing to worry about, nice fresh smell into the cabin. Uh, next thing on my list that I do is check all the lights on the car. Now this is a big safety issue here, obviously, because if you buy a car, a lot of people, they just don't check the lights on it. So every single one of your taillights could be out, and you never know, and obviously if you're driving, at nighttime and all your taillights are out, no one can see if you're braking and that could potentially cause an accident. So to check all the lights, I just have either a friend stand in front or behind the car and just check all the lights for me while I'm inside pushing everything or I just set up a camera and then do all my lights and then check the footage later on to see if any of my bulbs are out. And if the bulbs are out, I can easily replace them at my local auto parts store. Coming down to one of the last things on the list is gonna be cleaning the car inside and out. <laughs> I know this is uh, sometimes silly for a lot of people. They think they just bought it from a dealership or whoever. Obviously the car should be clean. A lot of times it's just not the case. So I always like to go and clean the car on the outside just so I can get a feel for it. Also when I dry off the car, I'm rubbing a towel on basically every square inch of body on the car so I can notice if there's any things or dents anywhere that need to get taken care of. And I know for a future reference, if my car gets scratched, whether or not that scratch was there when I bought it, or it came later on, like let's say if someone keyed my car, for instance. And then I also make sure to clean the interior because a lot of times these places don't really go under the seats and all that sort of stuff. So sometimes, you know, you'll notice maybe like two weeks or so, there's gonna end up being a funky smell and it's because someone really didn't clean under all the seats in the car. So that just makes it usually smell a lot fresher is having yourself go in depth and actually clean the car thoroughly. Last item on the list is to do a walk around of the car and make a list of anything that needs to be fixed, whether that's headlights or maybe a sagging headliner. It's always good to just go and check everything and then make a note of it. Um, that way, if you have any spare time in the future, some spare cash in the future, and you wanna go and put that into your car, just so you can make it a little bit nicer and easier to drive or whatever it is. Then you have an easy reference of everything that needs to get replaced or fixed on the car. Sooner or later, you're gonna realize that everything's knocked off your checklist, your car is all solid, 
looks clean, and is all perfect and to your taste. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you have any other suggestions, please leave it in the comments below, because you know, always good to share information with one another. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, how cool.